I'm Elizabeth Allen and I'm a rider and trainer at Collective Equestrian. This is Rosie, she's a 13 year old KWPN mare and we're currently competing at Inter 2 and Grand Prix level. Um, we're going to show you how we develop our work for square halts um, and sort of what we look for before we start to actually see if the halt's going to be square or not and how we can troubleshoot any issues. So in Rosie's high level test at the moment, um, her halts at the beginning um, are from canter. So I'll start with them because that's a little bit more um, what she tends to do. But then also we have a halt before um, a rein back in the inter one test. And that's from trot. So to start with, you want to be able to make sure that you can just ride a straight line so looking ahead, turning down the centre line. And then keeping the horse on absolutely straight, so two tracks, thinking a little bit of flexion before the corner. And then also you want to be able to um, collect the horse while staying straight. So I'll do this on the track to just to help keep her, I'm just got a bit distracted now, just to keep her straight, collect, and then forwards. So it's collecting her as if you're going to halt. So I'll do the same thing on the centre line. So where I might halt, both legs slightly back, a light, so quite a quicker feeling down the rein, and you collect, and then ride her forwards. So this time I'll add in the halt. So half on the turn, looking where I'm going, riding a forwards from my inside leg. And then making my hands slightly lower and wider, collecting legs slightly further back. And then a quick look down. Actually, that's not too bad. Good go. And then trotting out. So I never canter out of a hole, because you never do that in a test. And obviously you wouldn't want to teach them that that is, that is an option. So then I'll do a couple in Trot, so the same principles, balance her on the turn. Shoulders back, sitting a little bit deeper, pushing down into my stirrups, playing down the rein. Keeping her still, she's got to stay soft in the contact. So in the halt, you want to be able to very slightly flex them one way or the other, just so they're completely soft and relaxed and elastic down the rein, ready to move off. So then if a halt wasn't square, you want to be able to teach your horse that when you kick with your left leg, they have to take a step forwards with their left hind, or when you kick with your right leg, it's the same with their right hind. So I'll try and ride a bad halt. So no preparation, no leg, legs well away from her side, and halting. Oh good, she has left her right hind behind, so I'm kick with the right leg. And she hasn't done anything. Good go. And it was a bit closer. Go. So then it's just teaching the horse that you can correct them so they always learn to stand to stand square. So if they naturally think they've got to have their legs square, it's more you are more likely to happen in a test. Ooh. And they've also got to be able to sit and wait in the halt. So she's quite good as soon as you um, halt in a test. Before I take one hand off the rein, she's already gone. So it's also important the horse is patient enough, stand, so that you can do things, you can have a wiggle and they wait for you. So that in a test you can, you know, you've got time to salute, reorganise, shorten your reins before moving off. But also in a halt, sometimes you have to do a rein back. Um, so you want to have a square halt so that the um, hind legs are directly underneath them so each diagonal pair is even. So that's important that the horse is soft and waiting and then you just very slightly legs back, lighten your seat, tiny bit more pressure down the rein to start with and then ride them forwards out of it. So because she has quite relaxed in the halt there, it was a nice rein back, whereas she can sometimes be a little bit tricky in halt and she'll sometimes turn around and look at me, which makes for a very tricky rein back occasionally. Good girl. 